a bicycle, you have two, usually, two uh, wheels. And on those wheels, you have spokes and you have nuts that go through the spokes and that hold them to the rim, basically. They have a weaving pattern that you take the hub, you put the uh, spoke over or under, and it goes over, under, over, under, over, under. And then it weaves the spoke in a pattern, whatever pattern it was when it started. Some bikes do a three, uh, like a, a braid, a three pattern. Some do two patterns. It's many, many different patterns. And so you gotta sort of know what you're doing to spoke a wheel. And at the same time, when you're spoking a wheel, let's say you get that spoke in there and you go up to the rim, it's got the rim like this, and your spokes are all in there, all your nuts are on, you're getting ready to tighten them. You've got your weave pattern already aligned out and everything's ready. Now you gotta tighten it. So what you gotta do is you put it in a vise that holds the axle and you spin it and you're now going to be truing the wheel. So there's more to just spoking the tire, the, the wheel, uh, now you have to true it because as you're tightening each one, if you don't do them right, let's say you tighten two or three at one time, all of a sudden the rim's gonna turn. It'll start warping and twisting. So it all has to be done just perfectly and you spin the wheel. As you're spinning the wheel, you can see this little meter at the bottom, you spin it, you want that rim to just touch that every time. You tighten a little more, you spin it. It's quite a process, it's a little tedious, and the other thing is you weave it incorrectly, it ain't gonna work at all. We have one of these tools, but at the same time, I'd much rather take it to my friend down at Schwinn that knows how to, how to do them each time, um, because it'd take me probably a day where it takes him an hour. Okay, so this is off, uh, I think it's a 1963 Schwinn Flying Star mm -hmm. Girls, okay? And I know I brought in a lot of their stuff. Okay. That's the spokes on front and rear. Okay. It has um, uh, painted wheels, so if you can do these in, if they're chrome or yeah, I got whichever stainless. Yeah. These are the, uh, the nuts. Okay. If, this is a chain. Now, if you have this kind of a chain, here's what, you know, it's not about being exactly original. She, you know, she wants it functioning. Okay. What you usually do, I have you take apart this, uh, this Bendix for me, and then I send the spoke out, or the uh, gear out to get chromed. Anything I can get gear, uh, chromed. And then I'll bring back the hub. I'll okay. bring back uh, anything that was with the wheel, the wheel, I'll bring back. Okay. Both wheels. And then if you'll spoke it for me, because I'm not the greatest at that. Yeah, I can do that. Okay. And then put the Bendix together. Okay. Because I'll bring all this back all clean. Um, but this you're going to have to tear apart. Or you can, whatever, you can leave it if you want, whatever you want to do, however you want to do it. So all this will get cleaned, you know, I'll just put in parts clear, and then when it comes back, you can do it. So the only okay. thing I need is that. Okay. Yeah, if you remember how that goes together. <laughs> okay, okay. Because I did take pictures of it in pieces so okay. that we know. I, I, I'm getting old. I don't know how you do on your memory. The older I get, <laughs> the older I'm getting, the worse I, I can't remember. I have to do more pictures. Just okay, so right now I'm dropping off the um, the hub it's basically a bendix brake system that has a bunch of interlocking parts what happens is on a bike you can ride the bike but it isn't a coaster so when you you, you stop pedaling you basically are going to push down and the brakes are on so it doesn't like coast you have to you're always pedaling on this kind of a bike um, so i need that gear taken off so that i can send it to the chrome shop I'm gonna get spokes because chroming these are about five bucks each. You can buy a brand new one for about a dollar. Uh, the same with the uh, the nuts, the spoke nuts. Um, they're they're cheaper to buy new than they are to chrome, and uh, they're a little higher quality actually nowadays. So I buy all those. This is gonna be a chain. That's good. I'm surprised he had one of those. So that's good. And, uh, and then again, I'll just take the gear home and then we'll chrome it and I'll come back with all the chrome parts to the wheel 
and I'll bring back the a wheel that's all painted white and pinstriped, and then he'll spoke everything all like really, really nice. And I can just, I just put the tires on. The other thing I need to order is um, tubes. Um, I don't think there's anything else I needed. The pedals, I'm just gonna have to clean up. Yeah. Uh, I'll clean those up and polish okay. those. Um, reflectors are decent. I'll just do the same, clean them up. Yeah, They're not broke. <laughs> right. And then I'm, I'm just gonna paint. Now this was probably originally black, right? Yeah. I mean, it wasn't chrome or was CAD chrome. or anything. So I'll black this. And then the other was the, uh, the grips. So I tried looking for these, I couldn't find them, but I'm bringing back the wheels painted white and all the chrome hub, and that's it. Okay. So you'll build the wheel for me, put it together, so spoke it, the tires, tires on, and okay. Cool. All right, Bob, thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, see you later. Until next time. <laughs>